So, uh, Kanye West has been on a tear recently, etc. And uh, he decided to buy Parler. Elon Musk is buying Twitter. Donald Trump has his own bullshit no one cares about. Kanye West wants Parler. Um, but in buying Parler, Parler's, uh, you know, whoever runs Parler, they're so goddamn fucking stupid that in the announcement of Kanye West purchasing Parler, they doxed the entire, like, structure of the company. <laughs> like, okay. Uh, I mean, again, like, these motherfuckers, man. Like, we're talking about, like, the dumbest motherfuckers in the history of motherfuckers. Kanye West, I covered this Kanye West clip earlier where he's like, the 1% needs to team up against the 99%, right? But, like, I, I want you to understand, we do not live in a meritocracy. A lot of people genuinely believe that if you get a lot of money, it must mean that you're smart. It must mean that you deserve it. It must mean that, like, you know, the system works and, like, the the... Those who deserve it rise to the top. That is not the case. That is not the case at all. These are some really stupid motherfuckers. I need you to understand that most people that are in the 1% when it comes to wealth, money, status, power are the dumbest motherfuckers. Why? Well, check this out. I'll explain it with math. Uh, the lowest common denominator is what mo is most marketable when it comes to uh, creating you know, music, television, movies, etc. Now, again, sometimes music, television, movies, art that is uh, amenable to the lowest common denominator can also be actually good. It can have higher levels of understanding that just, you know, go through the, the heads of the lowest common denominator. But it needs to be appealable in order to get to the position that Kanye West is. Now, again, I've never listened to his music. I know nothing about his music, okay? People tell me it's good. I don't care. I'm going to be honest. I don't care. Um, so... My thing is, my, like, again, so most Americans are stupid. And so the lowest common denominator, basically, is, like, the the mean point, the average of where most dumbass Americans can agree that this thing is good or we like this thing, right? So when you appeal to that demographic, you're already, right, like, at a, a you know, you're already on the, on the intelligence level. You're already, like, you know, in the lower echelon, right? But that's how you get famous. That's how you get money in this system, right? It doesn't, you know... It doesn't produce intelligent people in this society. Most intelligent people are the poorest in this society, right? So, again, uh, so you create art or whatever for the lowest common denominator. They eat it up. You get money. It doesn't make you smart just because you have money, right? And, again, the people that own Parler are the ones that did this. It's not Kanye West that leaked the whole fucking thing. It's the ones that own Parler, to my understanding. So let's read this article. This is from the New York Post, by the way. So this is a right-wing website talking about this. The social media platform Parler accidentally leaked the personal email addresses of its own VIPs, including Ivanka Trump and Kimberly Garfield. I hate her fucking last name. Like, who pronounces that shit? The Parler outreach team emailed over 200 verified users Monday to announce a deal its parent company made with Kanye West to take over the platform. The deal with the rapper, who has recently been banned from Instagram and Twitter for anti-Semitic posts, is expected to be completed later this year. Holy fuck. I mean, I'm telling you, man. Dumb fucking shit for brains. I'm telling you. Dumb fucking shit for brains. Everyone involved. But in sharing the news with its esteemed users, Parler neglected to protect their private information. The platform doxed users' emails by adding them to the email in the carbon copy function instead of the blind carbon copy function. Which means when you get the email and you reply to the email, everyone else, you know... If anyone, you know, is older than me, I'm sure you've been in an email chain, but God, they're the worst. I don't know if younger people than me, I'm 26, I don't know if people younger than me uh, have ever really been in that, but like, you know, it's email chains, Jesus, you know, fuck, you know, God damn. Uh, our VIPs are an invaluable part of the Parler family and experience. Well, I guess not, the email read, we appreciate all your support and partnership, blah, blah, blah. The slip resulted in hundreds of people replying to the email thread, many of whom took advantage of the situation to make jokes. Workweek Inc. CEO Adam Ryan said, Since I have everyone's attention, Kofefe Lol, user the Big Mig wrote. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Fuck me. So anyway, their shit's gone. It's been leaked. It's over. Um. Again, 
I'm sorry, these are dumb fuck motherfuckers. Why would Kanye West be buying a website that's full of neo-Nazis and insurrectionists? Why? Just so he doesn't get banned? And again, we got fucking Elon Musk trying to buy Twitter, right? We got Donald Trump with his own social media, right? We got fucking Mark Zuckerberg with his social media. Like, Amazon's trying to build social media networks. Like, look at how Twitch is, you know, being social media-ified. Amazon's being social media-ified, right? You know, they love social media. These companies understand, Google, of course, how to control you. They understand how to control you. And guess what? Why these companies like social media so much is not because of like, you know, like this, the, my video, my video is not the product on this website. My video is not the product. My live streams are not the product. Anything I do here, anything I do here to like advertisements, all of that is irrelevant. The product of social media is the user base and the information tracking. Google, for example, right, on YouTube and all in their searches and all that, if you have a Google account or even they, they, they track all your information from an IP, even if you're logged out, right? So again, if you everything you search is in a database, they can create databases based around you. They can sync them all and create algorithms that find like, again, the lowest common denominator, what most people are into, and then that's how they tailor to advertising companies to make money. You are the product. That's why they want to buy these social media companies. One, so that they can have a platform to say whatever stupid bullshit that they want without anyone, uh, you know, batting an eye. And two, so that they can track you and monitor your behavior, things that are so private that you don't even understand about yourself. I want you to understand how fucked up social media information tracking is. Do you consciously track and remember all of the information that you, you put on the internet? When you search for something, do you remember that, right? Do you have any sort of filter when you're typing something in, when you're browsing on the internet? Do you at all? I do personally. Anything I type into a search box, anything, I think about it before I start typing, you know, just a little bit. I want to cover my bases. If I'm going to like search for something that's, you know, maybe illegal, for example, or maybe not even illegal, but just like, I don't want that shit on my, you know, Hey, I don't know. I'm not telling you what I'm searching. But my point is, right, you got to be careful, right? Get a VPN if necessary, all that kind of stuff. But again, most people don't actively monitor this. So social media companies have more information on you than you know about yourself. Think about that, right? Social media companies track you so well and so intimately, and especially with your cell phones, right? Cell phone apps and stuff, they literally know where you go. They know you, where you're like, oh, when you bring your cell phone with you all the time, right? Some apps can track you. They know like, oh, you know, you drive past the Starbucks every day. They might know that. So then they're going to sell that information to a Starbucks that's going to pay for an advertisement. They're going to want to target their ads at someone that drives by a Starbucks every day. This is how this shit works. They know more about you than you know about yourself. And that's why these billionaire douchebags want this information. Again, it's a two pronged approach. One, they want your private information. And two, they want a platform to say whatever stupid bullshit and people are able to listen. Those are the two reasons why social media companies get bought out by these fucking rich, fucking selfish, narcissistic, fucking shit fuck billionaires, okay? So anyway, fuck Kanye West and all of his fucking endorsers uh, and enablers. Um, but there you go. So.